So clearly I'm traveling. I'm driving across the border into, whoa, into California. Actually, I'm in California already. And uh, yeah, I just left Vegas. And so I have no idea what the topic is. I, uh, I figured if I was gonna do a video for the YA Rebels, I better just, just do it and see how it turns out just driving, which is granted not all that safe, but I can't imagine I'm going to get another chance to do it. I had a great time at the Vegas Valley Book Festival. There were tons of awesome people there, and I met some really great new people that sort of restore my my faith that, um, uh, that people can be real. And I, I, I have a hard time. This is the... I'm just going to talk and see how this goes. I have a hard time... Um, when I meet people, just the only thing we have to talk about is like books. Um, I don't really like to talk about that. I was like, it, it, I don't really like to talk about um, more stuff that I already know. It's just like we're, we're, uh, it's a bunch of rehashing. We're all talking about the same shit over and over again. So when I find people who are interested in in like having fun and and, and like discussing things that are like like weird or unusual and, and aren't putting up faces like fronts, then I I tend to hang out with them and just have fun. And so I found quite a few of those people this weekend and I'm really, just really happy about that. It was a really great bunch of people that they invited to this festival. And so, um, but we got talking last night in particular about, we, we stayed at the Fremont Street experience. I was at the Plaza Hotel which is absolute squalor. Um, I, I rented a car, and not this one, this one here. I rented a car and drove from the airport in. It was pretty late, but when I got there, I, I got to the hotel, and it was like the first thing I see is a Greyhound station. And I'm like, what? You know, that's usually, the Greyhound station is always like in the seediest part of town. And sure enough, it was like then, Right after the Greyhound station, I was pulling into the parking lot because it was like attached. The Greyhound station is attached to my hotel, which is unbelievable. I mean, I like a certain amount of seediness of squalor to like really kind of ignite some imagination. I am not inspired by traditional beauty. I like to find beauty in sort of the bizarre and maybe the ugly. That's kind of something that really interests me. And so we were talking about that last night while we were sitting at the Bellagio because we drove in to the Strip and the, the Fremont Street experience like the old part of Las Vegas it's sort of dilapidated and kind of falling apart but has is like crammed full of really interesting characters these people are very unusual very unusual and quite lovely in some senses and we went to the Bellagio which is this beautiful sort of artifice it's like the um the Dale Chihuly chandeliers over the lobby, the, just the amazing floral displays. The place is beautifully put together. And then the people inside of it were very much homogenized. They, they all look kind of the same. There was a lack of character. And it's like, you know, I've, I've lived in it, I've lived a lot of lives. And I've lived lives where, you know, it's always been like four star hotels and and you know it was great food and you know I've also been I've lived hard times and, and not you know not been able to afford anything and what I've always come back to is that the most interesting places in my life have been where people are revealing their sort of genuine nature and I really got that feeling um, over the last few days just this that how important that is to me and I thought I would talk to you about it and that's it.